Well, someone addressed the film a couple of weeks ago as he looked at uh, Alabama's uh, previous games and also spring practice and uh, to a certain extent addressed this question a couple of weeks ago. Chris is asking whether there's a weakness for Alabama that you think Miami can exploit. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Thank you, Chris. So Alabama is going to be starting some new offensive tackles also. Evan Neal, uh, a former <sighs> hurts to say this out my heart, man. I, I thought he was going. I thought we were going to be able to do it, but we had a really crappy season, so it didn't work out for us, man. But um, they're, they're going to be kind of pass rush lacking. Here's what I'm saying: they won't be able to really protect because the new offensive tackles are have been getting them behind. Us. Okay, just simple as that. You watch their spring games. Now, I'm not saying Miami's defensive ends are the Alabama caliber edge rushers. I'm not saying that. But they were flying past their offensive tackles. Reports from their practice, it's offensive line is still a question. Yes, they can run block, but the pass protecting side of things is what's worrying Alabama. If Miami has the ability to exploit that, then we can make that a weakness. Uh, but yet again, that's comparing them going up against the Alabama defensive ends and edge rushes. Hopefully Miami can play to that level or higher to get out the QB. Start off with a young quarterback. So they're either going to be inexperienced or young and inexperienced with quarterback. You're either going to start uh, Bear Bryant's great-grandson, I think, is, is one of the other ones on this team, or you're going to start Bryce Young. A lot of people think they're going to go with Bryce Young. Okay, you're going to – have a situation where right now their offensive coordinator is being taught the Steve Sarkeesian, Lane Kiffin kind of offense. Because Tim, because uh, O'Brien, yeah, I don't really know if he's going to be out here running the, the the spread with fluidity for something you don't really know like that. So they're teaching him that offense. If you're able to get uh, really to him, Get them, get them frustrated, getting them messing up and seeing ghosts and things of that nature. If you're able to get things of that, then you can force some turnovers. Maybe he throws the ball a little sooner for us to be able to break on the ball. But that's a key to almost any game, man. Pass rush is, is that's that's simple. If I'm able to get to the quarterback and I'm able to influence your quarterback, I don't care if that's Tom Brady down to the walk on. It's going to influence your offense in a way that it's going to favor my defense especially if, if he does not feel comfortable in that pocket, if he does not feel comfortable trying to roll out the pocket because we are just bashing his head in with blitz or swatting this ball down a defensive end or we get there and we're stripping the ball, you have to influence the quarterback who also influences the play caller because if the play caller is not too comfortable with the pass protection, not too comfortable with his QB and, and his comfortability on that football field, He's not going to call some of the same plays as if he was comfortable with what was happening on his football field um, with this quarterback and what the protection of the QB. Defensively, maybe if we can get Josh Job in a one-on-one -on -one situation speed-wise because his man coverage is kind of iffy. Uh, he's their returning number one. So if we're able to exploit that with, I don't think Harley will be out there. I think Harley will be in the slot or going to number two. So if it's Rambo or, you know, Michael Redding is more of a jump ball guy. I don't see him blazing by people. But, you know, Rambo and Joe, that one-on-one -on -one battle, I think is going to be key. Hope we get a chance to win a couple of those. Uh, Jordan Battle is going to be a safety. He's also kind of like their striker, vapor kind of position. Whereas it's, it's our nickel striker, same thing. If we can get him on one-on-one -on -one situations, he's more of a downhill thumper than he is someone that, that moves very fluently with his hips in open space. So if we're able to get him one-on-one -on -one with Harley or one-on-one -on -one with Mallory in, in a situation where we could throw a jump ball or may, hopefully make somebody miss and cut up, then uh, it, it'll be a different situation. So there are a couple of things. Getting to Bryce Young, whoever their inexperienced QB is going to be, well, whether it was with blitzes or whether it was one on one pass rush, beating their offensive tackles around the edge and slash that I'm going to say stout against the run. If we're able to have a Jordan Miller and a John Ford and an Essa Silvera and a Harrison Hunt really help not allow 
those big guards or center to climb to our linebacker and they can hold that line of scrimmage or in some instances shoot in the backfield and make plays by them themselves then hey that's a plus for us in, in that situation uh so so it's going to be winning that offensive offensive defensive line situation whether it's pass rush or run stop and, and finding one-on-one battles against uh josh job and, and one-on-one battles uh, uh against jordan battle those are the two guys i think that we can attack and cover 